Hello everybody, I'm gonna teach barnacles. And so we're gonna jump right into it. So, um, starts out, I use my ring finger on the seventh fret of the A string, first finger on the fifth fret of the D, and then my pinky on the seventh fret of the G, and you're muting the E string. Well actually, I guess you don't have to mute it on the first chord because this is an E. This seventh fret on the A string is an E note. And so the open E is the same note, it just makes it fuller, so. But I it I think it sounds muted. I don't think he's playing it, but you can. So anyway, it's so yeah. So, so and the strumming pattern is I don't know, it's like this. Oh man. I don't know. If you just listen to the song and try and play along with it, you'll get it. Sorry, that was the greatest explanation ever right there. But anyway, so yeah, you play that chord. And then you slide up your pinky to the ninth fret on the G. So it's like this. open so play it really slow and then you just do the same exact shape on the seventh of the E fifth fret on the A and seventh fret on the D so you just move it from this all each finger over a string to this so so yeah so the whole thing so far is this So, yeah, when you move your fingers over to the E, A, and D strings, it's the exact same picking pattern, and you, again, slide your pinky finger from the 7th up to the ninth fret, and then open again. So, it's the exact same thing you did. So, all together, those two parts go like this. And then, um, middle and first finger on the 5th fret of the A string and the 4th fret of the D and mute your E now and then and so what that is is yeah 5th and 4th on the A and D So, and this is seventh fret of the A string or the D string, and it's just one quick upstroke with your pinky down, and then you take it off immediately. So, and then ring finger down on the fifth fret of the D, and it's kind of the same thing you do with your pinky. It's just one quick note. So. So all together, slow is like this. And that's the whole riff for the entire song and you just repeat that. And so the one part I didn't explain is after this. Um, seventh. You slide this shape down to 3-2. And then with your ring finger, it's a pull off on the B, third fret of the B, and third fret of the G. So.
So hopefully um, that's enough for you to learn it. I'm sure there's a tab for it and it's probably close. I'll link it in the description. Um, I'm trying to think, I don't think, I think it's just that riff repeated throughout the entire song. Um, I know it cuts out at one point, but then it just comes back in and it might change to like, But yeah, this shape here, the uh, 757, is the exact same shape as you use in Needlepoint. It's just, it's a 979 on the E and D. So a little butchered needle point for you there, but I have a lesson for that too. So I just mentioned that because it's literally the exact same shape. Just so yeah, I mean, if you learn this song, then you can learn needle point super easily. If you learn needle point, then you'd be able to learn this. But yep, have a good one, guys. Good night.